It's been a fabulous first day of the summit. Now we move to the informal portion of our agenda, a place where you can interact with leaders in the field of mathematics education. We'll ask you to spark a conversation with our experts and other attendees while using the chat. We'll call these sessions Inquire and Inspire. We have two great leaders for today's session. Jolie Honey is the Mathematics Equity Specialist for the Utah State Board of Education, where she focuses on equity and inclusion in mathematics for all students, especially those who receive special education services. She has been a curriculum leader, coach, and teacher. She is the past president of the Association of State Supervisors of Mathematics and one of the authors of the Mathematics Vision Project curriculum, which focuses on student-driven conversation and collaboration to increase engagement, learning, and deepening understanding. Latrenda Knighton is an elementary math curriculum trainer in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She has been a classroom teacher, an elementary science specialist, and an elementary mathematics coach. Latrenda serves on the board of directors of the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. She is a co-author of Five to Thrive, Answer to Your Biggest Questions About Teaching Elementary Mathematics. Jolie and Latrenda, I'll turn it over to you. Well, I don't even know where to start. So as um, Gina said, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And actually, jo Jolie and I are super excited because she and I next month will be joining the NCTM Board of Directors together in the same class. So we'll get to be math buddies again. And so we are just so excited about the things that we heard today, but we really want to give you an opportunity to share what you've discussed and some of the things that you learned today as well. Someone saying they can't hear me? No, I think everyone can hear us both. I just think that we maybe didn't hear each other at first. But oh, okay. Okay, cool. So exactly what Latrenda just said, we were kind of hoping that people could see each other and that sort of thing, but this is going to be great. So um, Rhonda, I love that you put so many good things and um, teams, thanks for saying that you can hear us and hear us both. Um, we, we would love is in the chat box so we can kind of start a conversation for our first Inspired Inquire after party is, will you please put in the chat box a takeaway you have from today. Like so many great things is awesome. And we all loved Kevin Dykema. We all like, it was all great. It was so wonderful, but we would love for you to put like, what's a takeaway? Like, oh my gosh, I was so glad I heard this because this is my thing. This is what I wanna do. Will you share that in the chat box with us? And also, while you're typing, if you have any Q&A, put that in there, too, because we have ourselves, plus many amazing people who are all ready for any Q&A that you have from, from today, or even for the next two weeks. Rhonda, you can't take Kevin away. Wait, I don't see her comments. Go in the, where we are, Latrenda, if it's in the chat, and then it's at the top, it says Q&A pending, and then it has audience. Ah, oh, great. Yay, we're all learning all these things. Manipulatives never expire. Love that, love that, love that. The consistent focus on student voice. By the way, I also love the NASA conversation today. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> okay, the things. Oh my gosh, I want to build a spacesuit. I want to build a spacesuit for women. Okay, we'll do that for me too. The things that we heard today are not new, but not often seen in practice. What are some practical things we can do to make sure these important ideas actually get implemented to help kids? So thank you, Dr. Seda, for sharing that comment. Because, you know, as a lot of times I tell the teachers I support, it's not new. We just have to be consistent 
and stick to it that this is what we're going to advocate for for our students right that we're all going to be those advocates and kevin i agree i loved hearing the stories from the districts and actually someone came to visit my desk during one of those and so they stopped they were mesmerized so they act and it wasn't a math person <laughs> so they actually wanted to stay and hear those stories yeah dave kong mentioned today Loved hearing about Dallas's work and how moving from opt in to opt out can be a huge lever for equity. I'm wondering if there's others who also kind of had that as a takeaway in thinking about that moving from opt in to opt out and seeing that connection to equity. Ooh, there's a shout out to Guilford in the chat. Do you see that, Jolie? I haven't seen that, but I'm like, I am loving that I'm here and I'm loving that my internet connection is working. You guys, my heart was pounding about five minutes ago. <laughs> well, Angela said that how Guilford is bringing in tutors from high schools, colleges and the community. So really making it something for everyone. Everyone has a place and a purpose in supporting our students. Cool. Wonderful. Um, I want to give just a quick little note of um, I am also loving that I'm seeing my ASSM family in this little chat box. I'm like Anna Kamore, Kathy Beals, Andy Byerly. Um, and while that's coming in and you guys keep sharing these things, I want to say, wow, what an awesome lineup for this conference, right? So whether you're interested in data science and hearing from um, amazing speakers in that area, or if you're interested in high school pathways, like I see Leah Snell, I see Mark Freed, Andy Barley. I'm also seeing that um, Arlene Crum, we have presentations coming up in the next couple of weeks. So really excited for um, lots of different awesome presentations on high school and pathways. And Chantel saying the opt-out movement was huge for me today. I'm currently in my master's program and spending a ton of time on equity. Sweet. I also really appreciated the district conversations. Mm -hmm. Cynthia brings up an Excellent thing for us to all ponder. She mentioned that 70% of our district's math teachers are brand new teachers. And I could definitely identify with that, Cynthia. That's true of my district as well. How can we urge admin to implement more math coaches? So thinking about when you think about budget cuts, not removing that support and saying, these are the experienced people and we need to have those folks in the classroom, but we also need to benefit from those folks supporting our new and early career teachers as well. Let's see, anyone else have? There was something in here that, and these great text messages are going by so quickly. There was a question about, are we worrying about legislature? And, and so two things, one is about worrying about legislatures and the other is having the coaches that Latrenda was talking about. I do wanna share with everyone that while this was true for, there was an, a recently revised elementary math specialist position statement that was done by Andy Byerly, thanks for calling out organizations. That was NCTM, NCSM, ASSM, which is the State Supervisors of Mathematics, and AMTE, those groups wrote the position statement on the need and the role of the elementary math specialist. But um, with the comment that was in there, I'm also going to say, I do think that's a great one to go look at because there are statements and actions that can be done from that statement that really does support the need for specialists. And while it's focused on elementary, um, as a state level person, I would use that document to support all levels of specialists that are in there. And I, I, I agree. So many of our um, having new teachers, we really need to think about ways of supporting those teachers. Could I share something to add to that? Also, Jolie, um, in addition to having the um, actual 
position statement that was updated. AMTE partnered with several other folks and I was very blessed that I was allowed to be a part of like, a, I guess, a subset of that project where they actually elaborated and made some more um, guidelines towards like what would be standards for those programs, for those people who have those formal programs. And the thing that I really appreciated that as someone who has spent the bulk of my career in a classroom or just working with teachers is that we made sure that we were very explicit about reminding folks. So definitely, as Jelly said, go look at that. Reminding folks that you can lead from lots of different places. So I don't necessarily have to be the math coach who is out of the classroom 100% of the time. I may be an experienced classroom teacher who leads from my classroom as that team lead and I support others and I really am serving in that coaching role for my peers. And so what I really love about being able to see how that was developing was seeing that all the structures that were put in place to provide suggestions of how you can do that so that we really can support each other because we do have a lot of people who are changing careers or early career. I ran into a classmate of mine and I'm not super young. And so she's on her third career and she chose teaching first grade as a third career. And I think that's like the best thing in the world that she's made full circle and she's choosing that. So also think about looking at those documents as well. Oh, it looks like Kevin has actually linked it in here. And so someone else has too. Great, great, great. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, wonderful. Um, I also want to say thank you to everyone who is actively engaging in the chat box. I noticed that um, that Dave Kung noted the active live chat. And um, can we say like how amazing our math community is? Mm -hmm. Like here we are. It's been several hours of fun and engaging conversations and we're still going. Like we love this stuff, right? I also want to note that Jessica Edwards in the chat box says, how do we organically raise coaches? And I think that's a great one to put out to everyone. Mm -hmm. How do we organically raise coaches? Any ideas? And um, let's hear from yeah. this esteemed group of participants here. <laughs> I agree with you, Rhonda. It was tough data, but it was there were so many things that were encouraging and gave you hope, made you think about possibilities, made us think about using our existing resources. And sometimes the resources are just people, you know. So yes, yes, I definitely agree with that. Yes, Dixie, I agree. Giving teachers leadership opportunities to demo lessons yeah, and hearing a lot of people talk development. About our teachers are our best leaders. Oh, LaShonda, tell us more about the superintendent of Alabama. Oh, Melissa's going to share the motto of someone misses NCSM. <laughs> okay, good. And now so I looked awesome, a little bit earlier and I, I see am also that going to ask. Um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Jolie. No. 
No, go ahead, Latrenda, because I was, oh, no, was going to change the subject. She so had answered my question earlier. She had identified their session that they're presenting at NCSM. And so I saw the later one. So just look for her session, guys, if you're going to be in D.C. this fall. Yeah, that's awesome. And I also love the comments that are in the chat box, like thinking about community as a practice for teacher leaders and um, just encouraging teachers to be able to collaborate with one another, be in each other's classrooms. Um, you know, thinking about that, we talk about the importance of community of learning for our students. And I think having that community of learning for our teachers um, I'm going to just connect it to social emotional learning. It's like it helps us learn to think about how do we have those tough conversations and how do we also have those fantastic conversations. But as much as it is about that we're learning with each other and from each other, we are also organically building our leadership skills um, and our relationship skills with those things. Um, but also, I hope everybody has opportunity to look through the chat box and see what's there. Um, as we shift, I also want us to um, think about next week. What are you guys looking forward to next week? Um, I know we have some really amazing speakers that are happening next week. And I know I already mentioned, wow, I, I'm seeing the chat box um, kind of blow up. And, and can I just say like how great it is that like Robert Berry, Kevin Dykma, Trina Wilkerson, Latrenda Knighton, I'm like, talk about NCTM presidents. <laughs> all here sharing sharing some love um but i would love to know what what are some people excited about for next week And Rebecca, thank you for also sharing um, the shared calendar in your math department. So you invite colleagues to come watch. That's awesome. Yes, Anika, that's a good question. Where will we find them? I'm currently looking for eight. So if there's someone who wants to be a math coach in Baton Rouge, email me, please send me a, please inbox me. I need eight more coaches in my district. So, yes. Wow. <laughs> and LaShonda, um, I know as people are typing, I do want to say I, I really do think that the understanding the role of the coach is difficult. And I do think that NCSM is a great resource for um, having talking points and um, sharing information. I also think that, that um that when we talked about the elementary math specialist position statement earlier, there were talking points to be able to use to support um, support us in our role of helping people understand those roles better. Mm -hmm. And yet, you know what, Rhonda, and I'm like, as we're talking about what we're excited for, um, Stephanie said she can't wait for the breakout sessions and another STEAM Career Expo. That's awesome. Um, and the grade band specific conversations, reasoning and PK3 mathematics. Um, but I also totally get when someone's like, I haven't even had a chance to look at the schedule. <laughs> totally get that. If you enjoyed today, you guys, um, make sure you send the invite for others to join um, next week to, to your friends so that we can have more. Yes, I agree, Trina. Collaboration is key. I'm seeing so many things that folks are placing in this chat box, just ideas that are working for them, things that they heard from other folks. And, you know, like most of you, this is where I learn about things that are here. Okay. And yes, Tanisha, you are only an hour away. So please let your colleagues know. I appreciate the post that you can. Um, if I had my other window open, I would give you the actual job number so you would know which job number to put on your application. So yes, do let them know. <laughs> yeah. I also love in the chat box, it says there's so many great 
things scheduled next week. And I don't know about you guys, um, but like, I'm very excited for Rachel Lambert and the UDL math conversation. And I'm a little bit bummed that she's scheduled at the same time that I am. So I am, um, I am, I am excited for both sessions, but I am also very happy that things are recorded so that we can um, watch things later as well. And yes. um, Dr. Francis Seuss and mm -hmm. PK3. People are excited to hear from the White House, cool. So, I mean, there are just a wealth of speakers. I've told my math coaches to just plan all of their professional development for the next month around all the folks that are here. What more can we ask to be able to hear from so many people, so many voices, so many rich discussions without having to leave the comfort of your home or if you have your lunch break, you know, you can catch a session in the middle of your lunch break. So this has been a wonderful opportunity for math educators, just wonderful. So kudos to the organizers of this because this has been a wonderful opportunity for us. Yeah, I think um, that I want to end and then I'm going to have Latrend to have last last words. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the day, which clearly you have so many great comments in the chat box, but also want to say thank you so much for joining us for the Inspire and Inquire. Um, I know that next week um, we have our Teacher of the Year, which you guys can we all be like, whoop, whoop that the teacher of the year is a math teacher. And so our Inspire Inquire is with Rebecca next week. And um, and then I'm so sorry because I also know that the other person um, from Dodi is, is amazing. So help me out with that. And then the third week to close out the whole, you know, speaking of after parties, it's the after <laughs> after party that we have Dave Kung um, from the Dana Center and Steve Linewan from AIR who are going to um, really have that, that last session um, that's going on. So we, we thank you for joining us today. And wow, um, and Mary Mooney, when I was talking about ASSM people, um, really, really excited for all the sessions and all the things that are happening. Thank you. Thank you. And well, the trend I'm turning to you. Over to me. So like Jolie, one of the things that I loved the most was just, I felt a sense of collaborative collaboration, even though I wasn't in the same room with anyone, just as I was watching sessions and things were going through the chat and things like that. And it was, you know, my day started a little bit chaotic, not because it was bad, but I had a doctor's appointment and I hate those. But coming back and logging in in between school visits, it has just been wonderful just to have this day of math. And no matter, as someone mentioned earlier, some of the things were a little bit hard to swallow that we heard, but there was such positivity in the comments and the things that happen. So thank you all for just engaging. Thank you for your comments, for being here. Thank you, there's several presenters who are here in this chat. And just thank you for hanging out with us as we got to be the inaugural Inspire and Inquire group. And for all the wonderful ideas that were shared with folks, I mean, this chat is priceless just the ideas that have been shared alone. So thank you. Look forward to hanging out with you guys next Tuesday. I got my next two Tuesdays, a fun plan, right? <laughs> yes, and LaShonda, it's LaShonda who is so beautiful. LaShonda Garrison and Rebecca Peterson are next week. Um, so Teacher of the Years, amazing, amazing. And sorry, I just, Latrenda, I just wanted to say that because I'm like, I can't, I, yeah. <laughs> yay, and yay for closed captioning. Thanks, you guys. Now we need to play the music, Latrenda. 
I know we need the music. <laughs> we had this whole party thing <laughs> planned, y'all. <laughs> you should sing. They don't want me to sing. Anybody who knows me knows they don't want me to sing. I cannot carry a tune, even if you put it in a bucket and handed it to me. So <laughs> you're welcome, Denise. I miss you. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, everyone.